Tusker House for Breakfast. Tusker. So this is in Animal Kingdom. In Africa. In African Animal Kingdom. Uh, do you want to talk about what the restaurant theme is? Af- Africa. <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of African artifacts, and I mean, you feel you walk in, and you feel like you're right in the middle of like a, um, I don't know what those the houses are called. Oh crap. I don't know what they're called. I don't remember yeah. exactly, but um, but it 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 feels very it feels pretty authentic, you know. I mean, I personally have never been to Africa, but I feel like from right. the pictures I've seen, yes, right. and I mean yes. they do a good job theming there. Yes, um, I guess I could read what Disney says about it. That's what I was kind of prompting you to do. Well, then I'll do that. <laughs> uh, this is a colorful <laughs> restaurant with character. Step inside this lively Harambe Marketplace eatery and enjoy family-friendly surroundings. This plentiful buffet offers favorites for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And while you dine, snap a photo and tip your pith helmet to Donald Duck, suited up and ready for his next safari adventure, along with his Disney friends, as they travel throughout the dining room celebrating their latest expedition. It is a wild good time every time. And says, say, say jumbo to a delightful buffet of fantastic favorites and new discoveries. For breakfast, munch on safari bread, Mickey and Simba waffles, and Durban chicken and egg curry with jasmine rice. So. Yeah. So this is a buffet. It is a buffet. And it's a character experience. So and the characters that come around are Safari, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Daisy. Yep. And uh, the it's forty forty five dollars per adult mm-hmm. and twenty nine for children. And they do take AP discount if you mm-hmm. get that. It's t- I think it's only ten percent off now. Used to be more, yep. but ten percent. Um, so I guess I I will say rather bad. I remember eating this. You know, we had this five years ago, and I can't prove it. But I'm almost certain that that buffet has much less options than it used to. Um, how would okay? I, I just feel remember. like there was a lot more the last time we ate there. Again, I don't have any Could. footage. We might have footage of it. Maybe we. I, I think th- we do. But yeah. I remember there being a lot more options. Mm-hmm. But either way, I just that's the first thing that struck me right off the bat. Um, we'll talk about food first, and then we'll talk about the character stuff. So okay, well, you mean it. Sure, sure. good. Talk about the food there. In the okay, so pastries. They've got zebra coffee cake, multigrain croissants, blueberry mini muffins, chocolate twist Danish, guava cream cheese Danish. Oh, I wish I would have seen that one. Um, cinnamon buns and bagels. They've got some classics like Mickey waffles, Simba waffles, hard boiled eggs, overnight oats with berry compote, and house made granola, fruit salad with ginger syrup, a honey Greek yogurt, cardamom, sorry, cardamom granola, breakfast potatoes. They've got fruits and they got breakfast meats, bacon, sausage, patties, rotisserie, ham, sausage, and more. They do have a blueberry bread pudding as well. This was not on the list, but they did have it. And it was super good. Super good. I didn't try because I'm not a fan of much fruit in my desserts, but I know you said it was really good. The pastries were really good. There's a couple, there's like an apple fritter type and a couple of Mm -hmm. things that were pretty good. Um, I had mostly, I mean, it's going to sound boring. I had eggs and sausage and bacon. Uh, mostly I had a Mickey waffle. As did your brother. As we kind of tend to eat the same things. Mostly <laughs> yep. protein. Yep. Um, it was, I mean, it was pretty much basic of what you'll find at buffets, breakfast buffets. So it was. It did have a few items that were African inspired. So that's feel like there used to be more, but maybe I'm, I could be confusing it with Boma. Oh, it's you might be. It's possible. I could be confusing it with Boma, but you might be. Yeah, you might be. Um, but yeah, the it was the um the chicken and egg curry with jasmine rice that they mentioned. They didn't even mention it on the menu, but it was on the buffet. I tried that. Do you was, like it? It was pretty good. Okay, curry's I did not have my, curry's not my favorite, but I did I did actually try that. So yeah, I did have a is like a. a Something abuela sausage or abella sausage, some certain type they cut and, for you. And we, and we. Yeah, something like that that they cut on the board for you. That was really good. It had a little bit of spice to it. Uh-huh. Um, That's where you get the ham too, or they, yes. they cut it right in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a lot of tater tots for our son. Oh, he yeah. enjoys the tater. Now, the, I will say the bacon was cooked perfectly. Bacon was perfect. Like they Disney does I a really agree. good job with their bacon. It's not. I like mine. Not. I don't like it crispy. 
Yeah. And this was very much like how you cook bacon. Question. I did not have eggs, like scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. Were they real eggs or powdered eggs? I think they were powdered. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay. They weren't the best. All I right. ate them quickly just because I was like, well, I'll just get in the protein. Get the protein. But uh, the sausage was good. The bacon was really good. I mean, the waffles are always good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I felt like, you know, like I had the other type of sausage in the options. Again, I just I just felt like it was limited, but I could be wrong. I maybe I'm getting confused, but I thought it used to be more. But I after that I kinda had some of the pastries. And when it comes to buffets anymore, I, you know, I don't really try and stuff myself to be like where I'm uncomfortable. So I ate mostly protein, had a couple of sweets, and then I was basically good. Well, our kids did they they ate some, like our son had a lot of the breakfast potatoes. Like you said, mm-hmm. he's a potato person. Um and our daughter had a Simba waffle, some she syrup. Did. Yeah. Um, she did get something else. I want to, it was fruit or maybe, um, but that's typical of what she will eat. So we didn't really expect her to eat much. Um, we really were just going for more of the characters cause that's what we like. Well, we was, like the characters. We also like the food, but the it was also cousin time. Cousin so time. There's yes. That, but yeah. Anything else about the food you want to mention? Um, no, that just, I, I mean, I really, I enjoyed the food. I thought it was, I thought it was really good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. I mean, it was basically, you know, it's nothing. I guess, I guess put it this way. Nothing really stood out as like super unique about it. Blueberry bread pudding. Okay. For Jamie, that was, I didn't have that. But it's really good. Nothing also was, I would say, you would call, oh, that was terrible. So I think it was basically like right in the middle where you would expect it to be. What was that thing? It was that pastry that had like sugar crystals all over it. Yeah, it was what like was a. That? I had got a few of those. It was like the cinnamon sugars. It was, it's kind of like a donut, but it was like hollow in the middle. It was good. Okay. I tried that. That was really yeah. Good. There was another one that had that with like a little bit of apple in it. Again, the pastries mm. were really solid. I will say. Yes, I wish I would have been more hungry. It was it was nine thirty when we had the reservation, and I actually moved that back because it was first at eight thirty, and we were at like Magic Kingdom until like ten thirty the day before, and I was like. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I will not be making that <laughs> reservation. Not yeah. with my children, not with how tired well, they are. And so I normally yeah. don't eat breakfast, really. Yeah. Like, I don't eat till like, late morning or, like, by noon. So yeah. I really wasn't starving because I normally don't eat that early. So but. here's what you do, and this is a strategy you can use other restaurants, too. If they have a breakfast and lunch option for buffet, you make your reservation until, I think, 1030 is the latest you can make it for breakfast. You get there at 1030, you get a plate for the buffet, breakfast buffet, Mm -hmm. go back and eat it. By the time you are done eating, it's been 11 o'clock and they've turned it to lunch. They were actually turned both. Well, we did that the last time we We ate there. We did that. Yeah. So we got to try both of those and you get the the breakfast pricing. You do. Which is a little bit cheaper. They were turning it over as we were leaving. Mm -hmm. So if we would have stayed a little bit longer, we could have done that, but we didn't feel like doing that. But. But. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we're talking about real quick the character, which is probably the main reason why people would want to do this is the character <laughs> interaction. Um, let's see. Right when we sat down, Mickey came right out. Mm-hmm. So we didn't wait a long time on characters. Not really. Mickey was first and then it was Goofy. Goofy, Goofy was really good. Goofy, yeah, Goofy took, was really took good. A, he took a lot of time with the kids and he was very animated, mm-hmm. you know, and he was he was, you know, asking quote unquote asking questions like looking at their like like uh, our daughter had Moana on her dress yeah so I think he pointed out Moana and stuff so you know it was really cute Goofy Goofy was really good on for that one so yeah and then it was Donald and then Daisy came around at the very end yes so, yes yeah. Donald and Daisy but they were they were wonderful it was good we got a lot of good pictures I will say I just want to mention this I feel like there needs to be a thing when it comes to character dining etiquette. Okay, about other families. Are you talking about other guests? I am talking about other guests. I'm talking oh. about when you're there with your family, you know, you want to get your pictures, but you also have to understand um, you're not the only family. Mm-hmm. And we, we're mm-hmm. in a side room there. And there was a family before us, and they already had a pretty large group. Like 12? There's a lot of them. Yeah. And they were taking multiple pictures. When it's like, okay. And then they had extra family come in. Mm-hmm. To take more pictures. So our poor, especially our daughter and our, our, our niece, they're just sitting there like Mickey or Goofy be right there. And I probably think they took an extra six, seven minutes. Yeah, it the, was a lot. To the point where a cast member, I saw her actually come over there and not say, let's hurry. But she was just like, oh, hey, you know, let me take some pictures. Like was trying to basically say like, mm-hmm. let's get this moving. Yeah. 
the whole thing given, like, I understand you want to get your picture, but just be considered. I mean, again, it's not like it ruined our meal. It's just one of those things where it's it's inconsiderate. It, it just to take that much time or they would, you know, what, what was worse, I think, for the kids was Goofy was almost at our table and then the mom or somebody get up and go, oh, hold on, hold on, like brought him back over and then somebody brought in another kid and you're like, okay, like, and they're eating in the restaurant, supposing, but then, then this group of 12 then became a group of like 20. Mm-hmm. So every character that came around, it, it took longer and it did make our meals meal take longer as well but i would just say again it didn't ruin the day and i didn't sound like we were mad it's just i wouldn't do that i'll put it that way it's not something i would have done i mean yeah i mean it was kind of a thing but not not really like it it was okay but you're right like just consider other guests time and the time they're spending at the restaurant and not try to make it all about you i guess is a is one thing to to keep in mind because the characters have to they have a little they have i mean how many tables do they have to see and they see a lot certain amount of time and again but, it's not like i'm not making this out to be a huge deal i'm basically saying this is like a psa i'm like just think about it because these people uh, by the way the same group of people had stopped they were stopping characters out in the hallway to get extra pictures yeah they were so, which is not good which you should not do right so not only were they getting all these pictures and take because they had autograph books and getting and i think each kid was getting their own picture with the character and then they were meet <laughs> characters out in the hallway it's just a little i get it you want to get it's your money lot. worth um, yeah. and i'm not saying that it's not a cheap meal but at the same time everybody in that restaurant has paid the same price as well so right all right uh well what would you give tusker house overall for you know character breakfast category so out of all the character meals, um, ranking it, I would put it at, I'd give it like an eight and a half. I'd give it an eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. I liked it better than some of the other breakfast options that are out there for character meals. I do. Like I, I, I really enjoyed what I had. Um, and the character interaction was great. You know, like we didn't, we didn't feel rushed at all. Our, our server was really nice. Like, Mm -hmm. like, I mean, everything was, was great. And it's 45 for breakfast, which I believe is one of the lower, is that one of the lower prices for breakfast? It's one of, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it used to be, that was like the base price. Now the other ones, a lot of them are in the fifties. Yeah. And I really enjoy them seeing the other safari outfits. (laughs) So it's cute. So it is, it is one of my favorite character meals. And I do recommend anybody trying this at Tusker house. Um, if you, if you're at animal kingdom and need a character meal to go to, like, like definitely check this out. It's, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I would, so we're talking top, top, top end would be Topolino's. Mm-hmm. And that's still, last time I checked, on the cheaper side as well. Uh, this is not as good as Topolino's in a lot of categories. So I would give this, uh, in the character dining category, I'd say a seven or eight, I think is fair. Um, I thought, it, again, just I feel like it was better last time, but again, it had been five years. So I mean, that's a long time. It's, been a, it's a long time. and you know, I think it's too because our, she was so little. And like she was kind of shy, and it was like a first time. Of, I think it was her first time going to a character meal. Was it the uh, one of the first times? It may have been. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Know. Yeah. So again, it was a good experience. Nothing to like. Again, I, it wasn't as good as Topolino's, or I think even though it's more expensive, I do think Chef Mickey's the food's a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more variety there. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I do not care for Chef Mickey's. I don't like Chef Mickey's necessarily either. I don't like the ambiance there, but I feel like the food options, they have a little bit more is all I was saying. They but, have more options, but it doesn't mean it's butter. I know. I agree. I'm, <laughs> I'm specifically talking about the food. The ambiance yeah. of, of Chef Mickey's, I can't stand. I don't like the way that the whole thing is set up. But yeah, I would say seven or eight is what I get this. So, All right. Yeah. And I will say, if you've got a party of six or more, just remember, they include the tip automatically. Yep. So... They do. So just keep that in mind. But all right. Well, uh, that will do it for the show without news this week. Anything else you want to add about the food we ate? Oh, the only thing I wanted to add that we didn't mention is Tusker, Tusker House, you get Pog Juice. So that is a, that is a yummy addition. You, yes, you can do that as well. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's good. And also, if you want soda or coffee, that's also it's included. It's all included. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. one aspect of that. So 
you're going to get morning coffee, save it for, you know, you're having your character meal, something like that. But yep. all right.